Next we will place the power connector. Just go to the data sheet. This is the power connector. This is a header 8 and we will place in this on canvas here. Just go to place part, search for header 8. Place it here. Escape. Close it. And zoom in. Now in schematic, the first pin is not connected. Second and fifth pin is 5 volts. Third pin is reset and fourth pin is 3.3 volt. So just connect the 5 volt. So I'll copy the 5 volt from here. I will paste it here. Similarly, I'll copy the ground here. Now the second pin is VCC and fifth pin is also 5 volt or VCC. The third pin is reset to the main microcontroller. Fourth pin is 3.3 volt. Just type the reset. Place it here. Now 6th and 7th pin. The 6th and 7th pin are ground and 8th pin is V input. So this is ground and this is V input. Type VIN, place it here. Now go to place power, search for VCC Capsium, and we will place a new symbol for 3.3 volt here. Just rename to 3v3. connect this to the connector the first pin is unconnected so I'll place the unconnected symbol here next we will place the 5 volt regulator to power all the circuits just go to the place part first we will place the 12 volt DC jack just type the con space jack space pwr this is the 12 volt power connector place it here next we need a diode place it here next component is 5 volt regulator just type lm7805 fixed 5 volt regulator and we need one electrolytic capacitor and one non-polar capacitor change the name to 12 volt DC This is 100 microfarad. The non polar capacitor is 100 nanofarad. These are the standard capacitors, and the value of these capacitors you can easily find in the datasheet of 7805 in the recommended layer section. Next, we will copy and paste the ground symbol. Now you can see the ground pin in this 7805 is invisible so we have to make it visible select the component right click edit part and this is the ground pin select the pin and click on this pin visible and select the shape of the pin to line and now you can see the pin is visible right click close it and update current. 
Now we will also copy and paste the input capacitor and we will place the output. Now connect all these components. This diode is used to protect the circuit from reverse polarity. This pin 1 and pin 3 are ground. Now we will place the 5 volt power port here. Select the 5 volt symbol, copy and paste it here. Now this is the origin of 5 volt. From this point the 5 volt is distributed to all the components. Now you can see this is the V input net alias. So this is the V input connection here. So we will also net alias this. Just press OK and place it here. From here cathode of the diode this V input power goes to 8th pin of this power connector. Now also change the name of this to power. Now go to datasheet. Next we will place a low dropout 3.3 voltage regulator. This is not a normal linear regulator but this is a low dropout voltage regulator. So just go to the snap EDS search for LP2985. This is the schematic symbol either you can download the schematic symbol from here but I will create at my own because this is a small symbol. So just go to the arcade capture. Just go to the place part search for header 5. Place it here, close this, select the part, right click, go to edit part. Now we will edit this part, first delete all the boundaries. Now expand the boundary. This is the first pin, the first pin is our V input. Just type the name V input. Now the second pin is ground. Third pin is on off. Fifth pin is output. And fourth pin is bypass. Now make the pin name visible. Expand the boundary. Now place a rectangle. You can also change the type of pin. This is the output pin. So select the pin and from here you can select as output. This is V input. From here we can select as input. This is also input pin. This is ground pin. So select the power and this bypass pin is also input pin. Now right click, close it, update current. Now we will place the ceramic capacitor to the input and output. Just tap the cap NP. Place it here and one capacitor on the output. Now if you go to the data sheet of this low dropout voltage regulator then you can see the input capacitor is recommended as 1 microfarad and this output capacitor is recommended as 2.2 microfarad ceramic capacitor. This is 3.3 voltage regulator. 
and the name of regulator is LP2985. Next, give the input to this 3.3 voltage regulator. The input will be 5 volt. And output will be 3.3 volt that we have used here. Now connect all the components. Copy the ground symbol. Paste it here. This pin is no connect. Place a no connect symbol and connect ground to the global ground net. 